Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case break of 2019-2020 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball 12 box hobby edition. Pick your team number two. Big thanks to all of these lovely people for getting into the action by hook or by crook. There it is on the 13th, Thursday. So um, those are the cello pack breaks. So congrats to you if you won teams from the cello packs. And thanks to everybody who got in straight up as well. However you got in, we appreciate it. There you go. Good luck, everyone. Oh, I think we got... I know I need to watch more college basketball, but I'm going to have to go to the TNT. TNT. Dynamite. TNT. Something, something. TNT. Where is TNT? I don't have direct TV. Oh, there it is. Got it. 245 on direct TV. All right. Boston up 20 to 15 on the Clippers. All right. There it is right here. 2019, 2020. Heavily allocated. They didn't print a lot of this. So consequently, we've been actually seeing... A lot of monster hits being popped out of here with a lot of great secondary market value. Bud, what's going on? All right. So you can see the six on the left side, six on the right side. One autograph and a bunch of parallels. All right, RJ on the front. Pink Velocity, Black Velocity, Parallels, those are ultra rare apparently. No hot boxes in this basketball, but it's nice stuff. Good luck everyone. Quick roll call, who's, who's here in this break? What teams do you have? Who are you looking for if you've got a specific chase? I think only two basketball games going on right now. We've got the this Clippers Celtics game, and I think concurrently, isn't the I think OKC is at New Orleans. Let's check in on that game really quick as I rip open these packs. Yeah, and then the Pelicans are up 13-12 on the Thunder early in the first. I've got a little financial interest in the Celtics, minus one and a half. I've got a little financial interest in OKC at plus two. Plus two points. All right. Grizzlebees has got the Timberwolves. Nice. Chris Berry has a lot of teams, true. And wants all the Ja Morant. He picked, Chris Berry picked up the Grizz straight up. So good luck to you. SKS is in the house. He's got, oh, he's got the Trailblazers. Maybe looking for some Dame, some Dame Dollar, Dame Time. All right. I got Clint Capella, Hollow. There's Terry Rozier, Black Velocity to 39. And a Redemption. Cam Reddish. Rated rookie signatures hollow as well. Nice. That goes to the Atlanta Hawks Porterhouse Steak.
And this Kyle guy right here, looking for those hollows. That stargazing Kawhi Leonard to 99. Seku Demboya playing some good basketball lately. Brian saying, like the optic stuff, but way too expensive. I know, it's crazy, right? And if we get, if we're able to get some more, yes. Yes. it's going to be even more expensive. And people are buying it. Yes. Daniel, yes, you won Utah in uh, cello pack number 14. There's Matisse Teibel to 149 for the 76ers. Taco Fall for Darren McKenzie and the Celtics. We got rated rookie hollow Nicolo Melli for the Pelicans. Let's say one of those LeBron Jameses. We got Lucas Samanich. They missed his name up front. The hollow Pelican goes to uh, goes to Peter Maloney, who's looking for his teammate. There's Danny Green from my Lakers to 199. That'll be for Peter Maloney and the Lakers. The Hachibura goes to Darren and the Wizards. I don't know who the Thunder have just offhand. Yeah, Stephen Cohen, you went to Target? And you bought all the, they actually had optic there? Yeah, the turnaround is pretty crazy. There's Zion, all clear for takeoff. Every one of these inserts and parallels will keep chipping away at the cost of the Pelicans, which Peter got straight up and It won't take that many to get to that price point. 79, KZ Okpala Pink Velocity. RJ Barrett, Daniel Gafford, Rated Rookie, Hollow, Tybal, Dominators, Anthony Davis, and Kemba. Tim Lanks, I don't know if it's going to become Prism, but the Donruss Optic series has gotten pretty popular since its release. I feel like each year, you know, people are enjoying it more and more. Mike Towers is asking, what shiny uh, product do you prefer? Prism, Optic, or Select? Yeah, I do like this this design, though, Stephen Cohen. I feel like every year it's a nice, clean design. I like the, the nostalgic rated rookie blue logos there. I think those are pretty solid. Sean likes uh, Prism because it releases first. I mean, each of these John Morants add up, too. Was there a Zion in there somewhere? All right, let's see. Rick, uh, Rick Thomas saying, Prism seems to be more rare as far as, as far as like the refractors and stuff like that. Yeah, Donner's Optics seems to be a little more generous with, with some hits. Oh, Zion was the pack before the job? All right, we'll get there. Here's the rated rookie John Moran. Even the non-hollow versions could put a dent into the cost of the into the cost of the Grizzlies, which were picked up straight up. 
There's Hassan Whiteside for the Trailblazers to 59. Dwight Powell, hollow. Stargazing Westbrook. Cam Johnson. There's Blake Griffin, pink velocity, 50 out of 99 for Detroit. And there's a P.J. Washington signature series autograph. Nice, he's been playing some good basketball. That goes to Frank N. And the Charlotte Hornets. Rated rookie hollow, no name. Tyler Hero. This is who uh, Stephen Cohen's looking for. This Luca. Not Doncic, but Samanich. There it is. There's Zion. Zion, we're coming for you. Wait, Zion. We're almost there. And there's Zion Williamson. That Williamson kid. Cradling that basketball. I love you, basketball. That goes to, once again, Peter Maloney. It's just top loader dust right there. There you go. You got Brandon Clark, rated rookie orange to 199. Save another one of those Hachimuras as well. And that's kind of a bigger one right there. That's another no-name one. That Kendrick Nunn. There's Jamal Murray Red. Great Lakers Nuggets battle last night. 40 out of 99. Went to overtime and everything. Lakers ended up pulling it off. So, yes, Sean's right. Luka Samanich, Samanich and Kendrick Nunn. The two players that didn't get their names on their rookie cards. One. Uh oh. I mean, maybe he's squeezed into one at, at, at some sort of event, Tim. Yeah, that's what I think too, Chris. I think, I think the names being left off were unintentional. It was, it was just a genuine mistake. But with the Kendrick Nunn, Darren Porter, and the Miami Heat, some people have been saying that, that that not all the time do error cards actually have value. Not like the old days, but for that Kendrick Nunn, I think, I think, uh, for that Kendrick Nunn, I think it actually does carry a little extra value than it would have. Not sure if the Stephen Cohen, I'm not sure if the Lucas Samanich carries as much weight as Kendrick Nunn, but could be a little extra value there too. Well, I guess technically not an error card because they won't release a correction, says Sean Corbett. I guess so. It's a manufacturing mistake then. That will never be corrected. What if that was the card that that Kendrick Nunn was waiting for? It's like, oh, I can't wait to pull myself in a box of this Donruss Optic basketball. And he's like, hey, wait a second. There's Nicola Batum to 199. Bowl bowl for the Nuggets. Anthony Davis, Black Velocity, 31 out of 39. LeBron James, P.J. Washington, and Taco Fall... Autograph. 
Nice one for the Celtics. Darren McKenzie with the Boston Celtics. That's pretty cool. Right on the card as well. Nice. Andrew Wiggins, hollow. There's Bowl Bowl, rated rookie to fifty nine. Kobe White, rated rookie. Joel Embiid, hollow. Grant Williams, rated rookie to 99. John Morant, the rookies. Ja, 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 ja for Chris Berry. There you go, that's pretty cool. I don't think, that, not a hollow, but... Still nice. Cam Reddish is a hollow. I feel like Cam Reddish still hasn't shown, hasn't shown what he can do as of yet. At least not, not completely. He needs to string together some games here. All right, three boxes in. All right. Tim Blanks, and every once in a while you go to eBay looking for Boss Man's Ginter Auto, and you haven't seen one since the release. What do they run? I think at its peak, Boss Man value was, uh, what, a couple hundred bucks maybe? I think we have a couple laying around here. I know I have one. There must be a couple more laying around here. Uh, the boss man, Miami, the, uh, the owner of the shop, Mike Jasperson, a decades-long experience in the, uh, in the hobby. Think about it, Tim. I mean, they're they're pretty special to us for obvious reasons. I'm not sure if anybody's willing to to give up their their one. But if you ever end up visiting here, if you end up you end up visiting here, there may be a blank blank card. May be able to autograph one for you. I think you're right, TJ. Another John Morant. Mitchell Robinson to 59. Another John Morant rated rookie. Not a hollow, Chris Berry, but all of these little ones will add up. Do we have any blanks of that Ginter card left? Motha remembers that card. Remember we had that bounty too? Like if you pull a nice Zion, if you pull a boss man autograph, it was like a thousand dollar bounty or something like that. And then Nick ended up pulling his own dad's autograph. 
Like within the first couple of boxes that we did. Thousand dollars given away. Just like that. Another Zion. Peter Maloney. All those will add up too. Another Kendrick Nunn. Mavica Zubac to 199. Clippers, is he on the court right now? And Darius Baisley is your Oklahoma City Thunder autograph. David Baker with OKC. And there's Zubac. Is he out on the court? No, I don't think I see him on the court. Clippers and Celtics tied at 32 at the beginning of the second quarter. We've got a Cameron Johnson, rated rookie hollow. Yeah, it's pretty close, Tim. One of these days, that, that little bear will get into Allen and Ginter. Save a couple more of those Hachimuras, too. Terry Rozier to 99. Justice Winslow Hollow and Zach Levine. All right, next box. We're making some steady progress here. Yeah, Mothra, that's right, yeah. There's a bit of a break now because of the All-Star Weekend. I think tomorrow is the, I guess, the Future Stars game, Rookies and Future Stars game. First and second year players playing against each other. Stubblefield was saying, or I forgot to comment on that. Stubblefield was saying earlier uh, how uh, there were some, some players that got screwed out of that were maybe left off in spots. Could have been more deserving, but left off. But that Future Stars game, essentially, is tomorrow, Friday night. Then the skills competition on Saturday, and then the All-Star game itself on Sunday night. If you want to join in on the All-Star Game Mixer, ladies and gentlemen, 36-box basketball mixer on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. Yeah, Mothra says he hopes that his Sixers improve their away game percentage. Yeah, they have been struggling on the road. What's going on there? 60 out of 99 of Vita Zubac. Pink Velocity. There's Darius Garland to 199. I mean, I know that, you know, teams obviously generally play a little bit better at home. There's Markel Fultz. But the splits, the home road splits for the Sixers are... So drastic. You got to think that something else there. Ooh. Zion Williamson rated rookie hollow. There's something going on here. It's a nice one for Peter Maloney. What does this go for on a secondary market? That's nice. Players in this league have gotten so good at that stopping hard outside screen, and defenders in, in trail mode 
Thomas saying, what, a few hundred men? I would think so, right? Maybe grade it. You're getting a lot more than that. Tyler Hero, rated rookie hollow, and rated rookie green to one, line green to 149. And Grant Williams, another green thing. <laughs> green team. Uh, Darren McKenzie with the Celtics. Kendrick Nunn to 149, lime green for the Heat, Porterhouse Steak. And you also get the hollow Tyler Hero. Nice. And when a hero comes along. Start off the season hot. Cooled off a lot, but... It could be, could be back to rising in stock. Hachimura, rookies, red, 61 out of 99. That's another nice one for Darren Porter and the Wizards. Hollow at auction, sold for 690. Wow. Ungrade, not graded? Ungraded, not graded? Ungraded? Non graded? Another Zion, the rookies. I feel like we're, we're close to breaking even, Peter Maloney. We still have seven boxes to go. I mean, if you get that Zion hollow graded, if it grades out nicely, then I'm sure you'll get, uh, you'll, be, you'll be in the black. Hi, Alfred. Yeah, no baseball list. At, not, not too many baseball releases lately. But with the season starting... Soon, I think we're going to start to see a lot more baseball releases. So just you wait. There'll be plenty on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Is there another leaf box on the side? Yeah, we can definitely get into that. How are we doing on that Panini Contenders football, ladies and gentlemen? We've got to do those two half-case breaks by the end of the night in order to unlock that break credit promo. And we do have a little time on that because we don't necessarily have to, have to break it by the deadline. We just need to have the spots left at zero by the deadline. So we've got a little flexibility there. box. After this, we'll be halfway through this break, boys and girls. There's Boyan Bogdanovich, 39 out of 39, Black Velocity, R.J. Barrett rated rookie. Marvin Bagley, Lime Green to 149. R.J. Barrett going to the Knicks. That'll be for Chris Berry, who got it in Cello Pack 15.
We got Danilo Gallinari, lime green to 149. PJ Washington, Dennis Schroeder, Goga, Darius Baisley to 199 for OKC. And Carson Edwards. Celtics are having a nice break. That goes to Darren McKenzie and the Boston Seas. The rookies, John Morant, Matisse Tybel, Jackson Hayes Hollow. A few nice ones back to back to back. Jackson Hayes, Pelicans, Peter Maloney. So we got a Zion Hollow and a Jackson Hayes Hollow. This guy's got this kid's got some upside too. Had a great summer league and has been playing all right in some limited minutes. Matisse Tybel, great defender. People in Philadelphia really like him. Can shoot a little bit too. John Morant, so far your rookie of the year. What will it take for Zion to win rookie of the year, ladies and gentlemen? There's Zion, all clear for takeoff hollow. There's Sekou Demboya. Wow, some nice stuff here. Demboya goes to Chris Berry and the Pistons. And another Zion Hollow, this time an insert for Peter Maloney. Man, another strong one. All right, we're halfway through the break officially. Here we go, just six boxes left. Good luck, everybody. Now, I think uh, I saw maybe on Tuesday, TNT postgame show was discussing. This was after Zion's 31-some-odd points that he had. And Shaquille O'Neal was like, there's no way Zion can win. He just missed way too much time. And John Morant has been playing way too well. You know, so those two combinations are, you know, the only reason why, you know, Zion's going to miss that Rookie of the Year award, which I agree with. You know, but when pushed, I think Shaq did concede that if Zion averaged like 30 plus points a night from here on out, that yeah, maybe he would certainly be in the conversation for rookie of the year. John Morant, Zion Williamson, yeah, I think I agree, and then the missed time I think is certainly a huge factor in this particular award, Rookie of the Year for the NBA. But we'll see how it plays out. Listen, if, you know, I would like to see John Moran get it. Certainly has been playing well and consistently. Hasn't seem doesn't seem like he's hit like a, like a rookie wall or anything like that. This goes to Chris Berry. The Zion will go to Peter Maloney. But if he averages 30 a night, <laughs> I mean, I guess you'd have to put him in the conversation. 30 a night plus, what, double-digit rebounds a night if he averages that throughout the, the rest of the season out of 149, P.J. Washington. I mean, you got to put him in the conversation. Yeah. 
And it's Mufondu Cabanelli, rated rookie hollow for the Clippers. That goes to Dustin Morrison. Chris Paul to 199. And a redemption. Any, any guesses on that redemption for bragging rights? Mark saying, watch last night's breaks. He had odd with all these rookies. In the last two, all you've hit is a Shaq and Charles Barkley. Odd. Those aren't bad, but yeah, sometimes you want to get those rookies, right? Pink Velocity, Sweet Lou Williams to 79. Randy saying, I got nothing but Barkley Redemption autos from Contender. From, uh, you mean Donner's Optic? Tim's guessing Kyle Guy. Mark N. guessing Bull Bull. Jesse saying it's my auto. I don't remember signing for, for uh, Donner's Optic. So it'd be quite a shock if I saw my auto there. And then everyone's going to yell at me. Be like, Joe, why aren't you signing your GD cards? Sean says it's Zion. And I'd be like, I must have just blacked out. We got Will Barton for the Denver Nuggets. 7 out of 10. Nice low number there. Dylan Orr. With some gold ore. <laughs> yeah, baseball prospecting, you gotta you gotta wait a while for that to pan out, Mark. NBA rookies tend to be you get a little more a little more quicker return. Rated rookie signature, bam. It's bowl bowl. Mark got it. Dylan with the Denver Nuggets. No, I don't I don't need to go to Jaspie's autograph camp. My autograph is strong already. There it is right there. Next box. Axios, Fred saying, if Alan Ginter gives you a breaker card, can you sign one? Sure. I will. Although, after, after, after the boss man got a Ginter card, I doubt that we're going to get another one anytime soon. <laughs> Unless group breaking just completely just, you know, explodes into mainstream consciousness and and I am lucky enough to be one of the main stars of it. I don't know if we're going to get anyone, another, another one. Otherwise, people may think it's rigged. Bossman did work for Tops for over a decade, so. So they're like, people might think it's rigged. People already think it's rigged. Jesse, Joe, thinking of starting a channel of just breaking boxes. Any tips? Don't do it, Jesse. Don't do it. It's not worth it. It's too much work. And then we'd be competitors, Jesse. And then we'd have to crush you. And that wouldn't be very nice. Just leave it to us. No, I mean, it is tough. I mean, I, 
you know, if you, if you want to do it on the side, you know, it, it's difficult getting product like this at a wholesale price, you know, at a wholesale price and then try to flip them for a, a profit that's decent enough for you to, um, that's decent enough for you to make it worth your time. That's the difficulty. There's Marcus Aldrich, 79. I mean, if you're just buying your own stuff and unboxing it, that's easy. If you're trying to sell it, that, that becomes that becomes a little difficult. But if you're buying your own stuff, yeah, I mean, you can easily just hop on to, you know, get a decent camera. And then stream right here on YouTube. Danny Green, Lime Green to 149. You put the lime in the coconut. But if you're actually trying to sell stuff, it becomes difficult. Then you, then you got to ship stuff out, sort stuff out. Or I guess you don't have to sort if it's personal boxes. But yeah, t sleeves, top loaders, shipping costs. Do you charge for shipping? Do you. But if you do. Now I do know there are people who are just they just buy their own personal box and just for just for fun they'll they'll unbox it online. That's fine. You know, that's pretty easy to do cuz you're not really selling anything. But if you want to get into the selling part of it, there is a lot more involved than than people think. First and foremost, it's getting it's getting the product at a decent price to resell. You know? And then comes the struggle of, of why should someone buy from you? Which generally means you'll probably be offering product maybe at a loss to get people to buy. If you're new to the, if you're new to the scene. Well, there's a lot, there's a lot involved. All right, Redemption. Tyler Hero, rated rookie signatures. Nice. When a hero comes along. That goes to Darren and the Miami Heat. There you go, Porterhouse Steak. Miami having a pretty nice break, too. Four boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. This is Pick Your Team 2. Schedule in the chat. Right, right, right. Uncle Sam wants the pennies. Wants a cut of what you do as well. There's all that. Tax up is a hassle. Payroll tax is a hassle for this business here. I know, Mark, it, it kind of snuck up on me. I didn't, I, I was just like, did not plan for for the Riviera. Every year, I feel like this happens every year, Mark. Or like, oh yeah, 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 I'll, we'll hit you up and I'll try to ride on your coattails, Mark, and try to get into the, uh, try to get into the Genesis open, but keep forgetting and then other plans happen and then, I don't know, but... It's, r it's right near my house, too. I know. I keep forgetting about that two-week notice because it sneaks up on me. Because then I start saying, this week at the Genesis... It was like, wait, wait, wait. It's this week? Son of a gun. Do I have, uh, do I have golf plays for you guys? I think I did do some golf plays. I've got, I just went with like a lot of plus money guys. Um, Bubba Watson, top five, plus 500. Im Sung Jae, plus 1200, 12 to one, top five. And Alex Noren, plus 18, or plus 1800, 18 to one, top five. Went with top fives.
LeBron for the Lakers. There's R.J. Barrett. P.J. Washington rated rookie hollow. Taco Fall orange to 199. Charlotte, that's Frank N. with the Hornets, and this is D-Mac with the Celtics. Anthony Davis, hollow. John Morant, the rookies. Um, question for <laughs> question for Celtics fans. Does this does that guy have a name? I just saw the logo appear on when when the when TNT was coming back from break. I saw the logo displayed there. There's Steph Curry, and I realized that I don't know if that guy has a name or not. He must. There's Will Barton to 79. His name is Lucky? That's it? All right. There you go. Bill also says, Bill confirming his name is Lucky. He's right there in the middle of the court, too. There's Terrence Mann. The author in Field of Dreams. That goes to Dustin Morrison. He's a basketball player now. Wonder if his parents were Field of Dreams fans. There's Ignis Bradzikas to 149, Lime Green. Bowl Bowl, rated rookie, hollow. All right, we're getting there, folks. Three boxes left. Good luck, everybody. Next couple boxes here. Ja Morant. Now, this lucky character for the Boston Celtics, is there... Um, is there like a mascot of him that wanders around the court? Frightening children? Or no? Oh, it's an actual person? Not not like a not like a giant headed gotcha 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 probably guy in a dude in his mid twenties. He does like trampoline dunks and stuff. Wow. Oh I see there he is. They're really trying to play down the fact that he's smoking out of a pipe, huh? Yeah, he looks like... Yeah, I think the guy in the 20s does not represent the logo. Uh, yeah, I see the I see Lucky wandering around the court doing trampoline dunks. I see it. You know? He's got the vest and everything. 
No Kane. But I feel like I feel like Lucky's the sort of guy that maybe that maybe has a lot of action on the Celtics that night. Maybe hangs around horse racing tracks. I feel like he's that kind of guy. You know, he's got he's got a got a pipe. But somehow good at basketball. He's he's spinning a basketball on one finger. That's another John Morant for Chris Berry. So I mean, he must be a decent basketball player. So maybe he just go like a weekend warrior goes hard on weekend pickup games at the local gym or something like that. So I can see that. But maybe, maybe there's Kevin Porter Jr. for the Cavs. Chris Parent maybe maybe enjoys the track as well. There's Enos Cantor to 149. Mike Connolly, hollow. Another Kendrick Nunn. Bogdanovich to 199. Clint Capella, Rockets edition to 99. Ish Smith. We got Pink Velocity, Buddy Heel to 79. And Kyle Guy, rated rookie autograph for Mr. Langston, who got randomized the Kings in cello pack number 14. Right near the end. You're welcome. There you go. On card as well. Get that Buddy Healed as well. Pink Velocity. I've got Buddy Healed. Speaking of All Star Weekend, you look at my what I got here. I got Buddy Healed, seventy five to one, or seven and a half to one, I guess, plus seven fifty, to win the three point contest. What does everyone think about that? A long shot for sure, Zion. No doubt, a long shot, but. I like taking the long shots. <laughs> See what happens. All right. Peter Maloney, Zion. Wait, what are you talking about, Randy? Yeah, Nick and Jason are brothers. <laughs> they look exactly alike, don't they? All right, second to last box. I'll tell you who else I have, ladies and gentlemen. Now everyone agrees with Buddy Heald winning the three-point contest. I've got DeMontis Sabonis, plus 800, 8 to 1, to win the skills competition. Going with a, a bigger man who has skills. I'm going to go with that. That's right, Jack B. I like the long shots for the long shots. Buddy Heald, plus 750. DeMontis Sabonis, plus 800. And here's what I got for the dunk contest. I got Dwight Howard at plus 500. He's the longest of shots for the dunk contest. But I feel like there could be a little nostalgia playing, playing in together. A little nostalgia playing in with uh, Dwight Howard. He's been having a pretty good season, too. So I think he's going to come out and maybe recreate some old dunks or something like that. And win that one. This nostalgia pick, homer pick. I'm a Lakers fan. Definitely a homer's, homer pick right there. Why you, 
Um, there are a number of offshore books that you can use. Tim Langston to get into the action. BetOnline.ag is a popular one. Bovada can be a popular one as well. Mark likes Burton's in the three-point contest. Around plus 500. Yeah, I thought about him too, actually. There's Thomas Bryant to 59. Save a Seku. There's Chris Middleton to 99 for the for the Bucks. That's going to be for Chad Wright. Grant Williams rated rookie hollow. DeAndre Jordan for the Nets to 199. And Alan Samilich for the Warriors. That goes to Chris Berry, who got randomized the Warriors. Blue, 34 out of 49. Sean Corbett saying, Dwight will include Zion as a pass off of Superman that will be dubbed Superman. That's a good branding there. There's Kyle Guy Pink Velocity for Langston. So maybe that inclusion of Zion helps Dwight win. I'd be happy with that. I'll take that. All right, final box coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Last box, boys and girls. Someday, a majority of states will have allowed single game wagering. So then we'll be able to uh, not send our money overseas. Is Oklahoma working towards that? Nice. I mean, the the revenue, the, the the revenue is kind of undeniable. You look at the states that have done it. Early returns from New Jersey, Pennsylvania. I think New Hampshire has it too, right? Even Indiana um, has. I mean, the, re the state revenue is undeniable. We just have to trust our uh, trust our elected officials to make sure that money goes to the right place, but that's another story. I better see more potholes filled up. That's all I have to say. Ooh, is that a green down there? That might be an out of five right there. All right, yeah, John Sadar, I will do a hit recap. I might do that in a separate video. It's Isaiah Thomas to 199. Russell Westbrook to 199. Oh, is Sean saying Vegas is putting a lot of money to blocking in every bordering state? I can see that. Yeah, I don't think they mind the East Coast getting it, but I think, yeah, I think they might, might not want to lose that tourism revenue from the nearby states. Derek Rose to thirty-nine. Black Velocity. There's John Wall tonight. I just want to get to this green, and it's it's a green. Daniel Gafford, EA, and the Bulls. 
Rated Rookie Auto Green. At the very last box, the very last autograph, playing to the whistle. Three out of five. There you go. EA, two, three out of five. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Nice. And what else do we have here? Seku Demboya. Bradley Beal to 99. Hachimura, Carson Edwards, Rated Rookie Hollow. And there you go, boys and girls. That was 2019-2020 Panini Donners Optic Basketball Pick Your Team 2 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is Joe Jaspie. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.